Hi, welcome back to the Power BI Custom Visuals course, and in this module we'll be looking at the rotating tile. Now the rotating tile is kind of like a card. If you've played with cards inside of Power BI, they basically they show a single metric uh, that you have in your data set. But the big difference here with the rotating tile is you can actually rotate between multiple measures in a single view. So it's kind of like a card that can change the measure that it's showing. And the real benefit to this is it saves you a lot in the real estate department. So uh, when, I, when I say that, I mean the, the real estate you have on the design canvas, canvas is now uh, much less limited because you can have one single section that's devoted to four, five, six different measures, and it just rotates between those different measures. You do have the ability to kind of affect it, uh, whether you flip it vertically, horizontally, or you can even make it into a 3D uh, uh, tile, which you kind of see here on the screen right now. This one's developed by MAQ Software. Let's go ahead and take a look at where you can go download this one and how to use the rotating tile. All right, so our first step as always is to go to the Office Store. So if you go to store.office.com, you can search here underneath the Power BI section. That'll be easier to filter it down a bit. And then you can search for Power BI visuals if you wanted to here, and we want to search for the rotating tile here. All right, so we'll search for rotating tile. You'll find the visual that we want to use right here. Go ahead and select that, and you can click Add to bring that into the Power BI desktop. You can also, uh, if you select this, you can tell you it's going to allow you to download the rotating tile, or you can look at a sample of a uh, existing data set with the rotating tile already being used. I have a separate data set that I want to show you how to use with this example, so don't worry about doing that for our example, but you can most certainly look here. But you do need to download the rotating tile to follow along with this example. So I'm going to go ahead and I uh, already have done that actually on my example. I'm just going to go ahead and close out of my web browser now. All right, so. We're now in the Power BI desktop, and in the Power BI desktop, we're going to be able to pull in some data, and the data that we're going to start with is going to be health data. So we're going to be looking at things like some, some vital signs. It's not the official vital sign uh, metrics, but we're going to be looking at some health information that we might get from analyzing someone that came into the hospital. So things like their body temperature, their heart rate, uh, their respiratory rate, their glucose uh, amount, so the sugar levels, things like that. And so the way we're going to start by doing that is to pull in the data first by going underneath the Get Data section and then selecting Excel. Then we're going to go find the data set that we're using for this example, which is going to be called Health Me uh, Measurements, and we'll hit Open. Now we're going to go connect into that data set. You'll see it brings open the Navigator pane where we can select the spreadsheet that has our information in it. It's called Vitals. And then we'll hit Load to bring this into the Power BI Desktop data model. Now it's only one row of data, but really we're only using this to be able to show a small subset of what we want to need, how we might use the rotating tile. So don't worry about so much about the volume of data more about how to interact and use the rotating tile. So you can see we have our vitals data in here now. Now the next step is to import the custom visual that we want to use for this example. So we'll select the import option right here. You'll see import from file. And we'll select import a custom visual. We'll go ahead and import right here. And we're going to select underneath the custom visuals the rotating tile for this example. So select the rotating tile and then hit open. All right, now the way I'd like to compare this and really show you is you might remember I mentioned earlier that this kind of compares a bit to the card that's inside the Power BI desktop. And so how we might use this if we didn't have this custom visual is we might actually bring in a couple of these cards. The card visuals are the native Power BI uh, visuals. And we might add in something like the body temperature. We might add in another card and add in something like the heart rate. We might add in another card and add in something like the glucose. And then we might add one more card in here with something like the respiratory rate. So we can get all these different vitals uh, displayed here on our report very easily using the cards. But you'll notice here that the real estate that's taken up from them is kind of large. You can certainly resize them to make it larger. You can change the text to make it smaller. But wouldn't it be so much better if we could take up all four of these in one single spot? And that's what the rotating tile does for you. If I bring in the rotating tile, which is right here, that's the visual that we just imported, and make this, uh, let's move this a little bit over here, make it a little bit larger so we can see it better. The nice thing about how the rotating tile works is you can place all the measurements you have underneath one visual. So if I select body temperature, glucose, heart rate, and respiratory rate all underneath this one visual, you'll see that eventually here, after a few moments, it actually starts to rotate between those different values. So those different values are easily changed just by the fact that you selected each of them. It automatically toggles back and forth between each of them here. Now there is quite a few things that you can do as far as uh, ad adapting this visual. If you go underneath the format paintbrush here, you can do things like tell it whether or not you want it to flip vertically or horizontally. That's really the only thing here. So right now it's flipping horizontally. If you flip it, uh, turn on vertical flip, it's going to go up and down as opposed, to, as opposed to right and left. So if I flip that on, notice what happens next. Give that a few seconds here, and then it'll actually flip the other direction. There you go. So you can see the difference there. 
You can also turn on the 3D effect. 3D effect kind of puts a box around it, and then it makes it a little bit more of an obvious change. It changes the whole box around, a whole 3D flip there. And you can change the color of the background of that box or the border color as well. So if you wanted to change the color of that border that's around that box, you can certainly do that here also. A little bit further down, underneath the animation settings, here's where you can change the amount of time that it spends between each of the measures. So if I wanted to, right now it's set to four seconds. I could change it to something like two seconds if I wanted to, to make it a little bit faster. And that way it'll actually rotate through each of these uh, measurements uh, almost instantly. So it, it changes to one, goes to another, changes to one, goes to another. So that's kind of some uh, settings that you have in here as well. Underneath the title settings, you can do things like actually change the uh, title color, the increase the size of it here. So you can see if I increase the size of it, that it increases the, the, the size of body temperature here. I can change the color of that text if I wanted to, to make it maybe more of a kind of bluish green. I can change it to that, maybe make that a little bit more obvious. You can also go down underneath the title settings to the label settings, and you can increase the, the size of the number that you see here, the metric. So maybe I want that number to be a little larger, so I can change that to something like 24 point font, and I might leave it as a black text here. I think that works well. You can also change the display formatting here if you wanted to show it in thousands, millions, whatever it may be. Auto will actually try and do its best to determine what to show, and you can change the decimal points here as well. So it's a simple visual. It's nice, but notice what it's been able to do here. It took these four visuals that I had, even though they're not huge, and it combined them into a single one, making it very easy to be able to interact with and uh, take up, again, much less real estate than I would have previously. So it's a nice little visual as far as that goes. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this short demonstration and this short module, and look forward to showing you our next custom visual and our next module. Thanks a lot.